Hey, what's up stream keepers and welcome back to my channel. So today uh, we're gonna talk about the uh, on the last episode we, we talked about the resetting of tanks and uh, I've actually done seven tank resets in the past uh, past week or so and uh, I did mention you know at the tail end of the uh, video on the last video uh, regarding porosity versus ammonia or ammonia versus porosity and this is one of the videos today that I wanted to talk to you guys about. However, before we go into the video, I actually have some, uh, you know, I wanted to share some of this uh, shout out to you guys, you know, uh, thank you for the encouragement and of course, you know, uh, guiding you guys through the, the stream breeding process um, and of course, seeing you guys having results, uh, it, it makes me, you know, it, it makes me feel good as well, right, because, you know, the, the, the methodology that I have shared uh, is working. And uh, you guys have also put in a lot of great effort in terms of, <clears throat> you know, following to the T and getting all this, uh, you know, uh, information and uh, things all, all done up very well. So I just want to give a special shout out to, you know, Ikli Ban again, you know, uh, he's from Australia and his, what is he he's saying here, I'm gonna, just going to read it out, is that, you know, your Calyx ball really do wonders, you know, my blue books and Michelin breeds like crazy. So I think, uh, uh, Calyx ball is one of the things that you know it's just one of the elements that actually help improve the breeding but without that one uh, certainly that the, the the rates will not be as high uh, and that has been uh, you know verified by a lot or validated by a lot of uh, breeders that have been using the Calyx ball and uh, and, and 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 it's a, <laughs> it's a really uh, great product to, to have so on the second one uh, is you know uh, James Bivell. I hope I pronounced that name right. So he's uh, from the US, and he 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 just pinged me after quite some time, and then he he told me that you know uh, very good information. Thanks, and continue to keep up the good good hard work on on the videos and stuff like that. So I just wanted to give him a special shout out because he had a spine injury in November, and now he's you know gonna shift two times and then uh, you know his tanks and, and all that so I've done you know you know all these racks and tanks I've shifted them over before and uh, I can understand that you know uh, it is a uh, not an easy or a pleasant process to 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 shift your racks and tanks however we both agree that you know every time when you move or every time uh, there's a there's a move there will be a certain kind of like an improvement to the system and the layout and the, and the whole structure infrastructure as well so so that that's a plus point for for i think we, we both agree that we will improve as we move along so in in, in real terms we, we are really moving you know uh into the next location so okay so for that and then there's another guy that i actually wanted to give a special shout out to him is actually jo joseph from uh, finland uh, he recently accidentally cut his uh, cut his his thumb, and uh, he has you know five stitches on his his thumb, and it's it's not 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 too well. He actually got an information today, and uh, I wish him all the all the best and a speedy recovery in terms of uh, of his finger, his thumb, and uh, the next time he uses his knife, please be very careful. Uh, if you want to cut a PVC pipe or tubings, you know, uh, please use a PVC cutter because using a, a, a hacksaw or a knife is, is, is risky, right? So stay stay well and uh, keep safe, my friend. Alright, so today I just want to go uh, now into the, the topic that I want to talk to you guys about uh, regarding the uh, you know, ammonia and porosity and, and what does it really mean, you know? Why are we actually talking about this? So one of the reasons that I'm, uh, I wanted to share with you guys on uh, porosity and ammonia is because um, Por porosity is something that we can actually know in terms of the surface area. Uh, however, we are unable to really know how much beneficial bacteria actually colonize inside those um, filter medias, right? So, so what is the relationship? What is the interrelationship between the uh, you know ammonia uh, and and uh, porosity? So, one of the things that we need to keep in mind is that you know even new tank cycle or even uh, a mature tank there are bound to be some cases for example if you accidentally did something or or, or, or what you know there will be an ammonia spike so what are you going to do when there's an ammonia spike actually ammonia, ammonia spike is preventable and also ammonia spike if it's a very short duration then 
probably it will not be as harmful as a longer duration ammonia spike. So I have uh, experienced myself uh, in terms of mature tank uh, having an ammonia spike and that was caused by uh, some dead stream. So I wasn't in town and uh, there was dead stream and there wasn't sufficient stream to actually consume the, the dead stream. Usually when they when the stream die and there's a lot of stream in the tank, there is a tendency where there's can cannibalization. Uh, so for that tank, it didn't, it did, I, I didn't have in, it, I know, a lot of streams to actually cannibalize them because uh, it, it was a selective breeding tank. So I don't have that many streams in there. Uh, so long story short is that there was an ammonia spike um, and the duration was fairly long. It burned some of my mosses, you know, some part of the mosses where the dead stream is, uh, it actually turned brown and then uh, another stream actually died along the way. So so actually when I came back there were two dead streams and then you know that, that part of the moss is actually burnt. So so that is really ammonia spike, right? So ammonia spike, but, but the thing we need to be uh, we need to keep in mind is that it's not the spike that is the worrying, it's actually the duration of the spike that is uh, something that we need to look into and how do we actually reduce the, the duration of the spike so ammonia is actually uh, if used correctly or used properly is actually a, a, a very good good tool and one of the reasons is because ammonia is the energy source for beneficial bacteria right so the higher the ammonia the higher the, the beneficial bacteria so so these are all interrelated right however porosity comes into play uh, when you have you know high porosity for example if let's say you know in this chart that I actually uh, done up here uh, it, it shows that the, the the porosity of filter medias and of course you know uh, uh, sponges as well and and in this video I'm not gonna you know talk about you know which which filter media is better or what uh, in this video we're gonna talk about you know the, the the potential of the beneficial bacteria the potential of growing beneficial bacteria with the filter medias so filter medias can be sponge filters it can be the filter media that you use so so the potential to me is more important than the absolute value and one of the reasons is because um, if let's say you do not have an ammonia source right so even having a very high por porous uh, filter media it, it wouldn't it wouldn't do any any justice it wouldn't do any good right so so uh, but however if you have a high ammonia, I think most of the Caridina keepers or Caridina keep, uh, breeders actually use active soy, which means that it actually releases uh, ammonia over a long period of time. And of course, you know, when you have more and more streams, the ammonia level actually goes up uh, and, and then it feeds, it feeds the beneficial bacteria and the beneficial bacteria actually colonize more and more so that, you know, the, the pores can actually get filled up in the colony. So what I'm trying to say here is that you know the, the potential of a of a um, so a filter media the potential of the surface of the filter media is actually more important than the absolute value. So uh, that will actually help prevent or that will actually uh, you know uh, prevent the the duration of the ammonia spike to be that long uh, because then you know the that there is actually space or there will be actually surface area where the uh, beneficial bacteria can actually cope and uh, colonize quickly uh, when there is an ammonia spike. So if there is an ammonia spike, uh, you know that there is really no how how I put it, I would say that it's it's preventable. So we will try to prevent an ammonia spike. However, when it happens, we want to keep the duration short. So I think that is that is really the key part of of uh, of having a, a good filtration uh, system. And 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 in 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 all of the uh, active soils, like for example, tropical or ADA soil, uh, this soil are actually clay, you know, burnt clay, and 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 so, and so on and so forth, and the and they are actually also porous. So so sometimes you can actually see, like for example, uh, some of the tanks they are they have this permanent UGF over over there, and then there's a lot of uh, soil soil in there. So the, the, the porosity of the uh, soil acts like a filter media. However, you know, um, while clay, you know, clay is actually a very porous material, uh, but we need to keep in mind that there needs to be a sufficient uh, area, surface area for col uh, bacteria colonization. 
So, so what does it mean? It means that, you know, when I was uh, looking through this chart, uh, you know, I actually see that in terms of uh, cost, actually, you know, the, the HMF and all those meta filters actually does very well in terms of uh, cost versus the surface area. And one of the reasons is because um, they, they are able to actually uh, hold a lot of uh, beneficial bacteria uh, due to the surface area. However, they they act like a like you know just like a bio biological filter. However, if you go uh, deeper into it, let's say for example you are using an external canister, like for example I'm using Toto, right? So in Toto, that that the Toto filter actually have a bio uh, so bio medias, like uh, what I'm using I'm using powerhouse, and then of course there's sponges in there. There's also some uh, mechanical filtration. There's also some chemical uh, filtration. So, so all in all, in all there is a holistic kind of a fil uh, filtration uh, in, in in that system. However, you know, in, in this in this video, I'm not gonna talk. You know, which is which is better, which filtration method is better. Uh, but coming back to the porosity of it, while we cannot measure uh, beneficial bacteria, however, we can actually measure the the, the porosity of the uh, filter media. And that will give you an indication of a uh, potential growth, uh, beneficial bacteria growth in terms of the ammonia level. So why why is this so important? Uh, one of the reasons is because as you slowly keep more and more streams, or you the streams keep breeding more and more, your actually your ammonia level gets higher and higher, right? And then the colonization of the the beneficial bacteria will come come into play. However, if let's say that is a stagnation of uh, you know stagnation that means there is no longer any uh, free space for the beneficial bacteria to uh, colonize more then it will actually uh, hamper the the, uh, the streams that is able to be kept in the tank for example if you really want to keep uh, you no know, 100 or 120 streams in the tank then you probably will need to have uh, a high ammonia source to constantly colonize and feed the uh, beneficial bacteria or you will not be able to keep uh, that, that many uh, that many uh, streams in that tank and and these are all uh, interrelated and the streams are you know usually they, we will say that it will reach a maximum point in the tank where the streams will no longer be able to uh, breed more and more so so there will be a saturation point where, where it will kind of like you know a plateau and your tank will then say that, okay that's the the maximum number of streams that you can actually have and keep in, in the tank so that is not something that we are actually concerned about what we are really concerned about is the uh, the ammonia spike right because ammonia ammonia spike can happen anytime and and we we cannot there is no cure to ammonia spike but there is a prevention for ammonia spike to happen and one of the things is that you know we do not want to have this uh, itchy hand syndrome we do not want to keep adding things in the tank so once the tank has cycled well matured well um, basically what i do in terms of my own, own uh, stream tanks i don't really add um, other things in, in there except for uh, uh, you know uh, some probiotics that uh, 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 that is made out of uh, nato, nato, you know, nato beans, uh, fermented, fermented uh, soya beans, and and that's about it. So so basically, I don't add, you know, after every water change, like nitrifying bacteria. I don't I don't add I don't add all, all of these things because uh, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, I wanted to have the, the 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 tank as stable as possible. So the less thing I put in, actually, the the more stable it actually is. So. Uh, I'm not saying that you are. You, please don't use any other products. But I would. What I'm trying to say is that the, the way that I'm 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 doing it, the way I'm keeping it is that I, I just want to keep it simple. Uh, and one of the thing and one of the reasons is also it's uh it's much more pleasing in in the sense that I do not have uh, a lot of things cluttered around, uh the the stream room, and uh, I don't have to. You know be concerned about oh I need to dose this I need to dose that because over time you'll realize that uh, in actual fact there's not much care needed actually uh, in terms of uh, stream breeding all you have to do is that what, what, uh, what I'm saying is that 
the the allocation of time would probably move towards selection you know uh, selection of, of streams and of course resetting of tanks so so that is some uh, that is where the majority of the time is spent actually in terms of the hobby uh, selection process um, and the rest of the time you can actually take take pictures sit down there take pictures look at your streams and and then you know talk to your friends and and, and share the the hobby so all right so i think uh, that's all for this video uh, i just wanted to recap is that you know in terms of uh, ammonia versus ammonia versus uh, you know beneficial bacteria while we can measure ammonia but we cannot measure beneficial bacteria but however we can actually measure the porosity or we can actually track the porosity of the filter media be it uh, sponge filters or filter media we can actually track that and this gives an indication of the potential growth of beneficial bacteria that is able to actually help prevent uh, or, or shorten the duration of an ammonia spike and of course uh, provide a very healthy environment where the ammonias are all being uh, converted to nitrite and then into nitrate so so that's all for this video and thank you very much and if you con if you like this video please give us a thumb up do comments below you no know, please comment below and uh, if you are new to this channel please subscribe to, to my channel and thank you everybody and peace out